Hello children, welcome to today's class. Today we are doing exercise 8E, questions 6 to 10. So question 6. 83 notebooks are sold at 15 rupees 25 paise each. Find the total money in rupees obtained by selling these notebooks. Okay, so here we are told how many notebooks there are and the price of each notebook. So we know the price of each notebook. We have to find the price of 83 notebooks. So when the value of one is given and we have to find the value of many, it is multiplication. Let's start. Cost of each notebook is 15 rupees 25 paise. Therefore, cost of 83 notebooks will be 15 rupees 25 paise into 83. So let's work that out. So as we know decimal multiplication, we ignore the point and we multiply and we put back the point later. So let's start by writing the number without a decimal point. 1525 5, that is 1525 into 83. So let's do the multiplication. 3 fives are 15. Carry 1. 3 twos are 6 plus 1, 7. 3 fives are 15. Carry 1. 3 ones are 3 plus 1, 4. Second step, we start with a 0. 8 fives are 40. We carry 4. 8 twos are 16 plus 4 is 20. We write 0 and carry 2. 8 fives are 40 plus 2, 42. Carry 4. 8 ones are 8 plus 4, 12. Okay, now let's do our addition. We add up these two. 5, 7, 5, 4 plus 2 is 6, 2 and 1. Okay, so we've got a number here. Let's go back to the question and see how many decimal places there are. Now, if you look at the question, there are two decimal places. So that means our answer also should have two decimal places. So the point moves from here, one, two. Remember, it moves two places to the left. So my point comes there. So what is my answer? Cost of 83 notebooks will be rupees 1,265 and 75 per se. Question 7. If the length of one bed cover is 2.1 meters, find the total length of 17 bed covers. Okay. So again, we have been given the length of one bed cover, that is 2.1 meters, and we are asked to find the length of 17. So when the value of 1 is given, and we have to find the value for many, as we know, it is multiplication. We'll start. Length of one bed cover, 2.1 meters. Total length of 17 bed covers will be 2.1 into 17. So again, we have a decimal multiplication. Ignore the point. It becomes 21 into 17. 17. So let's multiply. 7 ones are 7. 7 twos are 14. Second step with a 0, 1 1s are 1, 1 2s are 2, plus add up these, 7, 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 plus 1 is 3, 357, but let's go back to the question and check the decimal places, there is one decimal place, so in our answer also we need to have one decimal place, point moves from there to here, so it becomes 35.7. So what is the total length of 17 bed covers? 3, 5, that is 35.7 meters. So the total length of 17 bed covers is 35.7 meters. Question 8. A piece of rope is 10 meters 67 centimeters long. Another rope is 16 meters 32 centimeters long. By how much is the second rope longer than the first one? 
So we know the length of one rope and we know the length of the second rope. And as you can see, the second rope is longer than the first one. Now the question is, by how much is it longer? So let's start our answer. First, we write the length of one rope, the first rope, which is 10 meters, 67 centimeters. Length of another rope is 16 meters, 32 centimeters. As you can see, the second rope is longer. Now, the second rope is longer than the first one by, now we are going to find that out. And how do we find that out? By subtracting both. Okay, so when we subtract, we put the bigger number on top. So let's do that. We have 16 meters and 32 centimeters. So let me put it in the form of a decimal number, 16.32. Okay, 16.32 and the next one, 10.67. So we are going to subtract these two. So let's subtract 2 minus 7, we cannot do. I'm going to borrow from here. So 12 minus 7 is 5. 2 minus 6, we cannot do. I'm going to borrow. This becomes 5 and this is 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. Put the decimal point, 5 minus 0 is 5 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So 5.65. So the second rope is longer than the first one by 5 meters and 65 centimeters. 5 meters and 65 centimeters. So that is our final answer. It's 5.65 meters or 5 meters and 65 centimeters. Question 9. 12 cakes of soap together weigh 5 kg and 604 grams. Now we have to find the weight of the first question 1 cake. So 12 is given, we have to find 1. So when many are given and you have to find 1, it is division. Now next one. Second question, find the weight of five cakes. So once you find the weight of one, then we can find the weight of five by multiplication. So what do we have here? Two questions. First one is division and the second one is multiplication. First one, weight of 12 cakes of soap is 5 kg, 604 grams. We have to find the weight of one cake. This is by dividing. 5 kg, 604 grams, can we make it all kilograms with a decimal point? This whole thing, how do we make it a decimal number? So 5 kg will remain as the whole number. Now 604 grams, when we convert it to kilograms, when we're converting from grams to kilograms, we divide by 1000. When you divide by 1000, the point moves three places to the left. One, two, three. It comes here. So this becomes 0 0.604 kilograms. So now I can put it along with this and write 604. Okay. So 5.604 kilograms. So I'm going to write it here again. Five point 604 kg divided by 12. So let's do that division. Now when we do decimal division, remember, we will not ignore the point. We need to use the point 604, 604 after the point 12. So let's start our division. 5 is smaller than 12. I put a 0. I carry this point up. So I take the next number, it becomes 56. Now let's say the tables of 12, 12 ones are 12, 12 twos are 24, 12 threes are 36, 12 fours are 48. We can use that. 12 fours are 48 because 12 fives are 60 and we cannot use it. Okay, now let's subtract. 6 minus 8, we cannot do. I'm going to borrow. 16 minus 8 is 8. 4 minus 4 is 0. Now I bring down the 8. 0 here it becomes 80. 12 
12 fives are 60. Let's continue our tables from there. 12 sixes are 72. So we can use that. 12 sixes are 72. Okay, let's carry on with our subtraction here. Again, 0 minus 2 is not possible. So I'm going to borrow from here. 10 minus 2 is 8. And 7 minus 7 is 0. And I bring down 4. Now my number is 84. 12 sixes are 72. 12 sevens are 84. All of you must be thorough with your tables of 12. Okay. Now it is 0. So I have got my answer as 0 0.467. So we have found the weight of 1. 1 cake of soap to be 0 0.467. 0.467 kg. So that's the first part. So we found the answer to the first question. We have found the weight of the cake, one cake of soap. Now we have to express it in both kilograms and grams. So in that case, it simply becomes zero kilograms. Okay, there's nothing there. And 467 grams. So your answer is actually only 467 grams. Now let's continue. Now we know the weight of one cake of soap. So that is 0 0.467 kgs. Now we know the weight of one. Now let's go to the second question to find the weight of five. So how do we do this? Multiplication. When you know the value for one and you must find the value for money, you have for many here, you need to multiply 0 0.467 into 5. Let's do that multiplication. So let me erase this here and let me do the multiplication here and show it to you. 0 0.467 into 5 is a decimal multiplication. We are going to ignore the point and write 467. We are going to multiply this by 5. 5 sevens are 35, carry 3. 5 sixes are 30 plus 3, 33, carry 3. 5 fours are 20 plus 3, 23. So I've got this number. I'm going to go back to my question and check the number of decimal places. One, two, three. So there are three decimal places. My answer also should have three. One, two, three. And my point comes here. So what is the weight of five cakes of soap? The weight of five cakes of soap is 2.335 kg. So we found the weight of one cake of soap. That's the answer to the first part of the question. Now we found the weight of five cakes of soap. This is the answer to the second part of the question. Question 10. Three strings of length 50 meters, 75 centimeters, 68 meters, 58 centimeters, and 121 meters, 3 centimeters respectively are joined together to get a single string of the greatest length. Respectively means the length of the first string is the first value given, the length of the second string is the second value, and the length of the third string is the third value. Now we have been asked to find the length of the single string obtained. So these three strings are going to be put together, joined together to get a single string. And we need to find the length of that single string. How do we do that? We do it by adding. Now look at the second part of the question. If this single string is then divided into 12 equal pieces, find the length of each piece. So we are being given many, the value of many, and we are asked to find the value of one. Okay, so here we have to do division. So there are two parts to this question. The first part is addition and the second part is division. Let's start. Length of three strings, 50 meters, 75 centimeters. This is the length of the second string. This is the length of the third string. Now we need to find the total length of the string by adding up these values. So let's start our addition. Now here, let me put a zero. Let's start. 5 plus 8 is 
13. 13 plus 3 is 16. Carry 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. Carry 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 13, 14. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we've got 240 meters and 36 centimeters. So when we put all the strings together, the, we get a single string of length 240 meters, 36 centimeters. So we have answered the first part of the question. The second part of the question is division. Number of pieces are 12. Total length of the string is what we just found out, that is 240 meters, 36 centimeters. We have found this out. Now we have been asked to find the length of each piece. Now how do we find the length of each piece? By dividing 240 meters, 36 centimeters, divided by 12. So let's do that division. We'll put it in the form of a decimal number. So 240 meters, 36 centimeters, if I put it in the form of a decimal number, I get 240, I leave the meters as it is, put a decimal point and put the centimeters next to it. This whole thing is now meters. So let me divide 240.36 by 12. Normal division. So 0. Now my number is 24. 12 twos are 24 minus 0. Now I brought down 0. So I, 0 is smaller than 12. So I put a 0 on top. I carry my decimal number above. I bring the next number which is 3 which is also smaller than 12. So put a 0. Bring down the next digit which is 6. Now my number is 36. Tables of 12. 12 ones are 12, 12 twos are 24, 12 threes are 36 minus. So I've got my answer 20.03 or so I can write it as 20.03 meters or it can be 20 meters and 3 centimeters. So I have found the length of each piece to be 20 meters and 3 centimeters. So this is the first part of my answer and this is the second part. So I have two answers here, 1 and 2. With that children, we come to the end of decimal fractions. We will now move on to chapter 9, playing with numbers. So in the next video, come prepared to do playing with numbers. Thank you, children.